Greetings, comrade. Today we're going to take a look again at Trans-Siberian Railway Simulator, which is now a prologue. So this was a demo, which I'm sure a lot of you got to play or saw uh, late. Well, I think it's about mid last year, actually. I don't quite remember. It was last year at some point. And it was just a quick demo. This is supposed to take you a bit further and give you a mission to complete. So it's pretty much the same game. I'll pop the other video in the top right hand corner, although I'm sure this one's going to be largely the same, plus the new stuff. Um, the developer, of course, is Pentacle. And uh, it's basically, it's kind of a survival sim based in the frigid Siberian land, uh, operating locomotives based uh, on the VL-10 locomotive, largely. Uh, there's repair and damage. You got to deal with the mafia in some occasions. Hangover, thirst, disease, hypothermia, and more. Uh, eventually, it says it's going to contain uh, dynamic weather, night and day cycles, extreme weather, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and the full game will eventually include a one-to-one -one scale of Novosibirsk, I think, west to Novosibirsk. No, let me, let me back that up. So the eventual full line is going to be uh, Novosibirsk to Krasnyarsk, I think. Now it's just Novosibirsk to Novosibirsk West. So it's just that small area. So anyway, let's get in and see what's different. All right, here we are back in the main menu. It now says Prologue, obviously, the tippy top. We can go to settings, take a look around. Audio is still the same. I've got the music all the way down because this is copyrighted music. I got ban hammered the first time on that so we're just going to go ahead and leave that right off for now video and graphics i think is the same as far as i can remember i've got the uh, limited 60 fps uh pretty much everything maxed out as can be uh gameplay uh english you've got a bunch of different languages i believe yeah so you're good to go you've got quite quite a bit of options let's go ahead and Take 10 minutes to get back to English. There we go. Head bobbing is on, so that just gives you a, a motion visualization of your character. Uh, keyboard mouse tells you all the uh, you know controls and all that. I'll probably totally forget what they are. Uh, and then audio, we already looked at that. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Uh, now, you still have survival and sim. So I believe sim is if you don't want to go around fighting the mafia and throwing apples at old ladies and things like that, then you just want to stick to the simulator. It's going to teach you how to operate the locomotive and run trains and whatnot uh, without the kind of fun stuff. And I think we'll take a look at the one again with the fun stuff. So let's click that. Uh, hmm. We'll just go with yes. Uh, no, we'll do the tutorial again. Because, <clears throat> to be honest, I don't remember Shia yet. Alright. Got a complete drunk on the platform already. Dude's just about falling over. It is, ho, oh, negative 20 degrees, good lord. All right, Lokomotiva. All right, so... Okay, so we have the, the dude kind of vaguely telling us what to do. Okay, get paid. Yeah, so this seems the same pretty much from the demo. So I gotta buy stuff. You gotta buy goodies. And there's like a like a chainsaw. You can buy some some beer, some vodka, some beets, maybe potatoes. Ooh, look at that bad boy right there. Hmm, I like that chainsaw. All right, F to continue. Lower left corner, you can see the status of your money. Right, we have one thousand. Uh, lower right, information about temperature. Right. Top left character stats, so they're going up pretty quick. Go shopping. Make sure to buy enough food and beverage to survive until next store. <laughs> Alright, let's um 
We'll buy... Who that? Who that? I heard a horn. Oh, sweet. Passenger train, little commuter service. All right, so we got a couple of beers. We got a four pack. Looks like a loaf. Oh, yeah, that's a loaf. Snow runner. Snow runner vibage. Okay, what do we got here? What is this? Uh, what the hell is sprots? What are sprots? What is that icon on the tin? What the hell is that? It looks like a kiwi. Like a sideways kiwi. I don't know. We'll buy some, though. Uh, one, a two. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go with two. What's this guy got? Uh, flashlight. I guess we only need one. So we'll go with one. We will absolutely take that chainsaw. What's up, dude? He's got a sick mustache. Apples, absolutely. We'll take the lot. Maybe we'll make some uh, some moonshine out of the apples here. These are apples too? What the hell? Are these sick apples? Banana? Milk? Yes? Yes? We'll take milk? Uh, we don't need more milk. What's this guy got? What do you got? He looks kind of sketch. Cabbage? Broccoli? I'm chopping broccoli! Take carrots. Yeah. We got lots of money, right? 850. Oh no, I just remembered I think the uh the weapons are gonna be pricey, so well who's just gonna eat a raw onion, dude? What do you got? Knife. Thanks. Bye. What do you oh he's Okay. Bread and bread. Thank you. Alright, are we done? Use the scroll wheel to manage your inventory. Alright, let's go ahead and uh have a little taste here. Oh yes, make warm for Soviet winter. Okay. All right, I open large inventory, okay. All right, so Q gets rid of your inventory at the bottom and then I opens that up. Right, all right, so can I, can I get rid of the, all right, so go to your locomotive. Well, what about the, what about the, uh, I remember something in the prologue with having to do something with the uh, the mafia. See, it's got a mafia shop over there. It says go to your locomotive, but he's got a mafia shop. And you know what we got to do? We got to go in there and handle business. Hello. Greeting. Yeah, she kind of looks like a Neanderthal a little bit. Got those real narrow eyes. <laughs> All right, poor lady. All right, what's in here? Oh, it's the bathroom. What is this? Carrot on the ground of the bathroom. Uh, we got this guy peeking through the window. That's a little creepy. Oh, is there any, any anything special in here? What about in here? All right, that one's closed. I guess we'll go in here. Oh, wait. We got stuff by the trash can. We got a pair. We're taking that bad boy. Uh, what do we got? No, no, nothing. Can we go in here? No. So we can't rob the Neanderthal lady. Um, we'll open that. Oh wait. Oh, what's up, dude? <laughs> this guy just slumped over on the toilet. Uh, this poor guy. He's had one too many martinis. All right, we'll let him rest. All right, let's go see, uh... Well, damn, you don't need to buy food. We got lemons? Hell, I'm I'm gonna eat that lemon. Where's the, where's the lemon? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it right there. And then I'm gonna scroll over. We're gonna eat a lemon. Yeah, it's delicious. All right, lemon consumed. All right. Let's see what else. You don't know what could be going on around here. You got like sketchy people everywhere. There's just some celery laying on the ground. Yeah, you don't even need to buy food. You can just find it laying around. So there's also local militia. Apple. That can uh, give you some crap too that you may have to deal with on occasion. Uh, we'll go visit our bros. Uh, look at this guy. <laughs> Shit faced. You would have to be, though, living in this kind of climate, right? 
Good lord, how else would you stay warm or sane? All right, so we'll go visit our buddies in the mafia shop. From what I remember last time, this did not end well, and we just got away with the skin of our teeth. We'll see what happens this time, if anything has changed. This guy looks like he's had a couple as well. What'd you say, bro? I'm sorry, what? Would you like to be chainsawed? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, let's go ahead and go down here. So you go in here and you're like, oh, there's no mafia in here. It's because they're in the basement hiding. All right. Open floor. This machine shop is not looking too great. Lots of things in here, none of which you can grab. I will take your grapefruit. Thank you, comrade. All right, let's go down and see our homeboys. What's that? Another, what's with all the grapefruit in here? Uh, I guess got a breaker box over here. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> I'm, I would just like to purchase that, sir. And that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And that, and that, and that, and that. <laughs> we bought literally all the ammo. And now... You will die! Alright, so last time <laughs> we shot them. Uh, this time we chainsawed them to unalivedness. And... I guess we can just take this stuff now, right? Because they're no longer... On this realm, we also have a nice little pistola. All right, you have a nice sleep. And yeah, let's go get our locomotive. So now we're going to have the mafia uh, up our keister. Because they're probably going to know or want to know why um, Billy Bob and. Uh, what, yeah, I can't. Billy Bob and his brother, why they're no longer alive in the shop where they sell grapefruits and firearms but uh we're pretty kitted up now we got an ak we got a pistol uh we got plenty of grapefruit oh who's what's that guy running over there for who's that what's he doing that that just caught my eye hey where's he going the hell what's this guy doing Sir? Uh, okay. I guess you gotta stay warm somehow. Alright, let's get the loco. So I remember this last time. You repair it, start it up, you go out, and in the demo, you hooked up to this train here, and then that was the end of the demo. So it was very, very quick. Uh, let's see what happens this time. E to open. Let's go ahead and hop on in. Alright. Uh, top right hand corner okay nearest points right got it so some loco functions are blocked during the tutorial right you have to continue stand by the side mirror and press yeah наконец-то можно продать эту кучу хлама в нем постоянно что-то ломается okay inspection mode so you can just kind of float around and Look at stuff since you don't really have like a free cam in this, I guess. All right, so T to inspect. So it's kind of like a little 3D render. We do have this thing right here, which has busted the uh, speedometer. So we need to grab that. Uh, everything else looks pretty legit, though, I guess. E to exit. Okay. I have to continue. Why, why am I not in the... There we go. Okay, it takes a moment. Right. Locate the broken part and replace it with a new one. To do this, exit expect inspection mode and use the adjustable wrench in your inventory. 
Um, I don't see a wrench in my inventory. What about the chainsaw? Will the chainsaw work? Let's give it a shot. No, the chainsaw does not work. That is much sad. Oh, it says add. Okay, add the adjustable wrench. Idiot. All right, let's go over here and grab that, shall we? Thank you. I will take. Let's go ahead and put it uh, down here at a flashlight. I don't think we need a flashlight yet. We do need to drink a little something, something. So we're kind of thirsty. I don't think a beer would uh, hit that spot. Where's my milk? Where is milk? Oh, there it is. Okay, idiot. It looks like the beer. It looks just like the beer. We'll do that. We'll go. We'll do like that. We'll hold E. We'll drink it. Uh, is that? Oh, and the thirst is gone. All right, so we are good. We'll go back to that. So we got a wrench. Let's go back up in here and get this thing off of the bulkhead or wall. All right. Nope. That is not the adjustable wrench. Okay, unscrew the screws of the speedometer with the right mouse button. Um, okay, what the hell was, oh, that was, I thought it was ice, but it was uh, like little bits of the graphics from uh, the chainsawing. Oh, there we go. Okay, man, if, if doing stuff like this in real life was this easy, how amazing would that be? You just look at these screws and will them to loosen themselves. All right, put away the wrench. We grab the speedometer, put in inventory, and we put new speedometer in empty space. All right, let's grab that. Back up here. Put that on there. Well, it's in the inventory, right? It's kind of annoying that you gotta do this like it'd be great if I could just click on it and not have to you know not have to inventory manage little little bits like this so I had to put it in that and then I got to do this you know it's just kind of extra unnecessary steps uh e maybe what the hell bro oh it's got to have a little check mark there we go all right and we need to get the wrench and tighten the screws Ah, we make a repair. All right. We'll get rid of that. F to continue. F in chat. Remember to inspect the condition of the parts and replace them to avoid damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small compressor switch, engine room, second. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we're going to start this biatch. That's what's going on here. All right. I kind of remember this now. So this is like a, a coupled unit. These two locomotives open the friggin door man there we go so you can also click and drag if that's your thing kind of a pain in the butt as you can see so we'll just do like that all right here we go click it I hear noises I hear noises all right Provides pressure to the pantograph when there's no pressure in the main reservoir. Have to continue. Turn on the radio. We'll go back in the leading unit. There it is. Okay, so they have coal. Track eight, platform three. All right, we see them. We have to continue. Press the call button to list the last message. No, I don't want to do that. Turn on the pantographs. Okay. Bam. All right, red indicates power is supplied. Okay, I have to continue. Panto 1 and Panto 2. There we go. Red light's gone out. Main current on the panel shows 33 houses. 33,000 volts means the electricity is supplied to the pantographs now. 
And that's that right there. Bang. Er. All right. F. Turn on the headlights. Uh, first set. It's going to be over here. All right. Temperature cannot fall below 41 Fahrenheit. Jesus. Keep the doors and windows closed. Aye. So we do that. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Turn on compressor. I don't remember any of this. Like, I, I remember doing it. I don't remember the sequence. All right. Filling with air. It's for our brakes. Turn on the KVC. It starts control for the supporting engine. Red light in the first row and second column means KVC is on, but not yet working. It needs to be reset. All right. It's been reset. It is now working. You have to continue. BB1 switch uh, starts controller for main engine. That is on. BB1 release. Oh, I hear noises. All right, BB1 is working. Red light, second row, first column's gone out, means the engines are turned on. When you lower the pantos and raise them up again, remember to reset the engines. Okay, so it's like uh, tripping a breaker, essentially. All right, turn on the engine cooling at low speed. Set the brake blocking handle to brakes released. Uh, fill the leveling reservoir and the brake line with the pressure of 5.5 kilograms squared. Uh, okay. Vane handle to release and charge. There we go. Okay. Uh-huh. It's just talking about pressures. Uh, set the main brake handle to service to stabilize pressure. There we go. All right. The pressure started to drop, but stopped at 6 kilograms squared. Uh, still too much. Reach a value below 5.7. Okay. Set the main handle to shut off without supply. Is that better? Now back to service. The brakes are prepared. Okay. If you'd like to set the pressure more precisely, set the handle main brake handle to release and charge position to start filling pressure and then shut off with supply. Turn on the VU switch to activate the locomotive control system. It's located above the entrance door to the cabin. There it is. If to continue, go to the engine room in first section and set the signalization direction handle to the forward position. That's crazy that you gotta <laughs> you gotta go back in the engine to do something like that. That it can't be uh, handled from a cab. Um, forward right there we go hey all right let's go back in here signalization on EPK key ah that's that's like the warning the alert system all right turned on F to continue green light means movement is allowed up to 60 kilometers per hour yellow light means you have to slow down below Slow down before the next railroad signal to at least 40. Yellow and red means that you have to stop for the next railroad signal. Red light means you have to stop immediately because there's no other train. There is another train between you and the nearest railroad signal. White means the nearest railroad signal has not been detected and you have to proceed with caution. All right, go to the cabin in the second section of the locomotive. Oh, we're getting a leg workout today. We've got to go all the way back here. Do, 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 do. Open the door. What do we got here? What's this? Dies? If you want to drive the section, you have to turn off the locomotive and pull out the panel lock key from the control panel, the first section, and insert it to the panel in the second section. How the hell do you get to. Okay, so like that. Uh... Oh, so. Okay, so it's just telling you. We don't have to actually do anything back there. Okay. Wait, or do we? Yeah, we do. I'm an idiot. So we got to release the brakes on this end. 
I guess. Oh, this is a handbrake. Okay. Okay. A... That looks good. And brakes released. All right, so we got to go back to the leading cab and do the sim. It looks like pretty much everything visually is about the same. It doesn't look horrible. Um, you know, it's it's got everything's kind of got that shine to it, like it's all got a, a glaze or a gloss. Um, you know, but it looks old. It looks rough. You know, it's it's honestly not too bad. It's for the type of game that it is. From what I am understanding so far, it ain't it ain't all that shabby. Uh, let's see here. That is our direction control. Want to set it to the M position. Uh, okay, it is an E. Main handle to the one position. Oh yeah, things are happening. Oh, it says do it slowly. Okay, we're moving. You apply too much power, the white line on the panel will appear and the locomotive will not be able to speed up. You have to reduce the power. Next steps to couple to the marked railroad cars. Drive forward until you pass the correct railroad switch. Do not drive too fast. You will have to brake soon. Alright, we're going to try and rely on locomotive brake. Alone. Okay, where is the uh, whistle? Is, does the window change that at all? Oh, it does! Nice! Nice little attention to detail. Being a, a train sim based nerd, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's it's friggin' deafened in the cab. That That is attention to detail that, you know, train sim developers that have been developing stuff for train sims for 10 plus years haven't done. So... Bravo. Bravo, Pentacle. Bravo on that. Alright, so we gotta get up there. I guess all the... I guess all the signals are set. Did we set uh, headlights? We'll give it another little... Little power notch. Okay, we'll do another. We'll do like five. How about that? I hear rumbling. You don't want to leave the windows open as, as much cooler it does sound uh, because of the whole coldness thing. It's got some pretty decent sounds rolling over the uh, switches and points and whatnot. It's got that deep rumbling. You got you got old panels, you know, squeaking and rattling and whatnot. I'll go ahead and put that back to neutral. Uh, we're getting thirsty again. I don't know. If, oh, not the chainsaw again, Jesus. Uh, I don't know if we brought enough milk with us. Need to find out uh, how much, like, one milk takes. We'll eat some cabbage, why not? Who, Whoever, you know, didn't sit in a freezing-ass cold locomotive and think, hey, I need to eat some raw cabbage right now. That would be delicious. Bam. We do have a hangover. Now, I don't know how to get rid of that. I don't believe Tylenol is in the game. Uh, but there is more alcohol. So, of course, that would just prolong the effects eventually. Alright, drive forward until you pass the correct railroad switch. Don't drive too fast. You'll have to brake soon. Okay, let's get rid of that. So, we got to pass the switch. Just enough. Now, there was a way uh, that you could look outside. I guess it's just the inspection deal. But it's kind of tough because it does this real slow, like, you know, transition. Yeah, there's no headlights on. How do you turn the headlights on? I didn't mention that. That's a, that's a chonker of a horn. Kind of sounded like an old Wabco. Had that boat horn sound. Alright, let's get back in. We need to break. I 
All right. The train has stopped. Go outside and change the railroad switch setting. All right, let's do that. Let's uh, let's go ahead and close that though, so it doesn't get too too cold. You can tell by the direction of the arrow which way it goes and which way it does not. Go back to the cabin, set the selector handle to MR. Uh, position to drive backwards and couple to the rail cars. So last time, once you did that, like, that was it. And it was kind of sad, you know, because I want to operate train. Yes. All right, so let's go back in, close the door. There we go. All right, MR. It is in the voice. Let's release the locomotive brake. There we go. Main handle to the one position. Nice and safe. Are we rolling? Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's nice, too. Like, you know, it seems like you're actually in a large, heavy piece of equipment. You know, like it takes a second to get it rolling here. It's not just like, bam, and you're off, like smacking a racehorse on the ass. It, uh, it takes a second. We're gonna go to position two. Now, can you sit? Do you like actually sit here? Or do you just stand? I mean, you can hit control to crouch, but that's, <laughs> that's not a very good viewpoint down there. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't think you can see outside. So like, how the hell do you know uh, where you're at? in relation to, you know, reverse movements, backing up on cars and whatnot. So it says, um, do not exceed 5 kmh. That sounds about right. What is that, like 3.5 mile an hour? You can observe in inspection mode. Yeah, it's, that's nice and all, but I feel like it's not quite enough. All right, so we'll go ahead and throw it to neutral. We'll get in inspection mode, see how far back we are. Yeah, it's just a bit of a pain in the dingus having to go back and forth between these two, um... You know, trying to do stuff like this, any kind of shunting moves. Let's see if we damaged anything. No. Oh, wow. There's some of these parts are yellow now. What the hell? All that stuff was green earlier. All right. We probably need to get in because it looks like it's a bit of downgrade here, which would be uh, speeding up the locomotive. So we will do this. We will look at the speed. Oh, we have a freight train passing us here. Very nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, and it's blue. Like some uh, some steel wagons, possibly. Or iron. All right, so we're below 5 kmh. We're doing four and a half. We'll give it a little bit of break and release. And we'll go back to inspection mode. See, how far can you go with inspection mode? It's super slow. <clears throat> All right. Oh! Um, the alarm. There we go, okay. Alarm! All right, we're coupled up. All right, loco break, please. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! When when you got something on the screen, it won't let you. Dude, loco break. Why is it not working? I can't hit any of the brakes. All right, disconnect coal wagons to. No, you didn't see that. Okay, awesome. Top left corners where information about how much time you have left to complete the job. Uh, so we have one hour to get them up to Novosibirsk, Glavni. All right. Stop the locomotive in the way you... What? Stop the locomotive in the way you do with coupled railroad cars. What? <laughs> what does that mean? All right. Set the handle, main brake handle, to the service braking one position. Now I can move them. Okay.
Breaking with the surface breaking position set on the higher position is harder, but the pressure drops faster and you'll have to refill it more often. Yes, it is super cold here, which does have a very large effect on uh, railroad braking systems. Braking in the emergency braking position is most effective, but the pressure drops very quickly. Uh-huh. The train has stopped. Uh, we've been stopped. Deliver the rail cars to the station at Novosibirsk, Glavny. Prepare the brakes again. Main brake handle to service. Set the direction handles to M. And this son bitch is ready to drive. Woo! Alright, give her one notch Rooney. You apply too much power with the white line on Yeah, 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 we know. We saw that earlier. Obey railroad signs and signals to prevent your locomotive from getting damaged. Oh, sweetness. We got another train coming. For the locomotive operating manual, go to the menu. Refer to the manual if any problems arise. Sweet. Uh, I don't think we're moving. Oh, press X to sit down. Rad. Okay, so you can sit down. Maybe we need another notch. Oh, we're moving. We're moving. Yeah, buddy. All right, currently have a yellow. Um, is there any way to apply the uh, alerter release without having to like look over and press it be nice if there were keys bound so we'll turn the window heating on why not <clears throat> it says the fuel generator's off that's weird um it probably needs some headlights yes yeah how's the headlights uh projector light left buffer right buffer Measurement apparatus illumination? <laughs> How about gauges? Can we go with gauges? Um, oh, you can change the color as well. I don't remember if a lot of this stuff was uh, available to mess with. Then you get the radio, so you can probably buy some cassettes to play. Yeah, cool. Little antenna. Cool. All right. Yeah. Good deal. Let's get that closed. Look at that. The sound actually changes, man. How about them apples? All right. So we've got a ways to go. It is currently 65 degrees in the cab, so it's warming up quite a bit. I do want to see if the headlights are actually on now. Oh, very cool. That is cool. They are, and it, you know, there's some, there's some obvious decent sounds uh, from this. You know, this stuff sounds heavy. It sounds old. It's, you know, it's old metal groaning and creaking, and it's not too shabby. Honestly, not too shabby. Haven't really been able to hear any kind of electrics, inverters, anything like that. But again, I haven't really. Uh, you know, notched up too, too much. Oh, no, we have the rear lights on as well. That is no bueno. All right, let's get back in the cab. All right, what do we got going on here? Uh, yeah, just people walking along the tracks. So we have that. So that's 40 kmh, right? Let's give her some more juice, eh? Pretty sure that was for 40 kmh. Yeah, because it's 60 and 40, yeah? 
There we go. We're kind of going uphill now. They're all blinking. We might get a uh, an alert upon passing this. Now, is this just going to take us there? I mean, how do, how do you know where you're going? You know what I mean? So I guess I guess the line is already set for that area. Oh yeah, we're rolling now. Almost 30 kmh. Uh, we have a green, so we can do six day. But we gotta watch for the uh, for the signals, of course. So Novos Novosibirsk Glavni says eight kilometers. Wow! So they've extended this quite a bit. Uh, eight kilos. This was like five miles. So uh, I was not expecting that. Um, okay, very cool. Looks like we have a grade crossing here. Very cool. Neat. I will say though, the, the grades seem a bit extreme, like they, they just seem like they they rise and fall a little too quick. Um, I don't know, I've never been here, I, I can't, you know, say for certain obviously, but uh, I would imagine with most railroads they won't, uh, they wouldn't be built like this, uh, it, you know, that quickly. All right, it says when you lower the pantographs and raise them again, remember to reset the engines. Okay, why would I do that? Did we lose power or something? No, we still got power. Oh, we got some gondolas over there. Very cool. Yeah, it just seems... Um, yeah, it, just, it, se it seems like it's on a condensed scale or something. The way... Uh, <laughs> some of it's just like kind of kind of crazy looking. But otherwise, the scenery isn't too bad. I mean, it is it is Siberia. It's, it's largely going to be snow. And snowy and wintry looking. So they, you know, they kind of captured that fairly well. The buildings look appropriate. Um, you know, it looks decent enough. That is a green. You have some sort of board here. Prepare to lower the pantographs. Ah! Did I do it? Top middle of the screen information about upcoming railroad signs. You have to continue, okay? Oh, we have another train coming. He's got mixed freight. He's got some flats and some uh, vans, I guess. Or those are might be iron haulers, iron cars. All right, it said prepare to lower, so we already did. So that is the actual lower pantograph. So cool. So it gives you something extra to do. So you're just not sitting here, you know, chainsawing mafias and, you know, fighting to the death with wolves um, and drinking vodka. All right. They are low. Shnikes. I probably should have put that back to zero, eh? There we go. So I'm assuming, like in most cases with electric locomotives, once you raise them, you're going to have to reset. Um, what would essentially be a main circuit breaker. So they're still lowered. I can see a sign here coming up. Alright, so now it's up and downsies. So I would be led to believe that uh, we could raise the pantograph Hey, so did it just give us Did it just give us power back? I don't have to reset the stuff. It's still saying raise the pantograph. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I did. Let's see if it gives us any juice. No. It does not. All right, now it might give us some juice. There we go. So yeah, you gotta reset BB1 and KBC, I believe. Goes a little passenger train. Uh, 
don't see anything going on with the amperage needle. Listen carefully, it's time to take on your first assignment. Our position is threatened by rival groups. We must show them we will go as far as we need and use drastic measures to defend our interests. It's like, bro, I'm, I'm kind of operating a, a train right now. The nearest railway bridge is key to the logistics of blah 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 group. They are smuggling guns, drugs, money. It all goes through this point. If we knock it down, it will deal them a hell of a blow. We will paralyze their actions and disable them from holding sway. Okay. I believe you'll do what it takes to achieve our goals. Wait for further instructions. <laughs> That's so scummy, man. So if I if I disable this bridge, then I wouldn't be able to get over the bridge as well, right? So that's kind of stupid. Uh oh, we got a we got a very very slow signal. It's at like 20, I think. So yeah, we'll just do that. Yeah, some of the some of the tracks look a bit too sharp. Um, you know, I, I would say just to try and get it in line with a bit more realism, the the tracks could be smoothed out a bit, because um, there are some really sharp curves that these trains probably would not do very well in. Um, you know, so what are we gonna do? Are we gonna chainsaw that bridge in half? Um, I don't get it. I don't get it. We are getting thirsty again. Uh... So there was literally nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was milk. Is that all there is to drink? Is milk? Jesus, man. Put the chainsaw away. Here we go. Let's drink some milk. We're getting thirsty. Hey, we're getting a little peckish. We'll have another cabbage. Mmm, cabbage. Ah! Alright, so we got something going on here. Nope, chainsaw. I need to put the chainsaw on the regular menu. Okay, let us uh, put that back to neutral. So we still got five kilometers to where we're going. Um, so it's kind of weird. It's like you've got your job of you know, doing doing the train stuff, right? Operating your trains, and then you've got the you know the mafia like trying to get you to do stuff. I guess. I mean, he's kind of confused. He's a bit confused. Oh, look at this beast! Oh no, we got our <laughs> we we got the marker lights on too. Son of a biscuit! Why is my hangover getting so high? Like, what do you do about that, man? Uh, where, where's, where's the buffer? How do you? Yeah, we'll just leave the top ones on. All right, so this is the bridge up here. So something's going to happen here. I believe I see a train yonder. I cannot see the signal. Um, that's yellow, yes? Yeah, that's yellow. Are we gonna have like a, a, a fight to the death with another train up here? Oh no, is that red? Son of a bitch! That's red. That looks red. Please stop. Uh, stop. Stop. <sighs> okay. That got spicy. Are we about to be boarded and they're gonna steal our coal? <laughs> Was that red? It's in the middle. Who puts a red in the middle? It goes at the top. I bleah. All right, so yeah, the train is just sitting down there. But see, we don't have we don't have the line. 
You can see the switch is against us here. But did we blow it? Did we go too far? I don't know. I don't know. Is train... Oh, train is coming now! Train is coming, okay. We did stop. Holy hell, man. So where's the magnet that this stuff is, like, based off? What's up, Brohim? He ain't wasting no time, is he? Yeah, the, the the car sounds from the exterior aren't the best. I'm honest. All right. Let's get back up in here. There's no friggin' telling how long it's going to take to uh, charge that air back up. Good lord above. Dude, I swear it was yellow. Who puts a red signal in the friggin' middle? I'm telling you, man. All right. Let's release and charge. Oh boy, all right, now it's green. And plus, it was, uh, it didn't have the absolute red signal on this box. It was, uh, the one in the middle. So that kind of threw me off a bit. All right, you can hear the compressor running. Release the local brake handle. I don't remember what it was supposed to be at. It was like five something. Um, so we'll do that. I want to say it was like four, between four and six. And then we'll do release and charge. Okay, let's just try it. Another notch. Four notches. Five, six. That's the oven. Eat. And we're rolling, baby. All right, across the bridge we go. 61 degrees in the cab, so just for having the door open for that moment, it uh, and the train not moving, <laughs> it started getting pretty chilly in here. Yeah, right, a little bit more. A little bit more. What's that? What, what's that? As it's showing that locomotive cannot accelerate reduce power. Oh. Get like some slippage or something. It's just too heavy. We do have power. I see it is being put down. Sun visor? That actually works. Yeah, this is uh Nikita is waiting for you on the other side of bridge. Take the package and explosive from him. <laughs> it's so dumb. Like, so my my profession is <laughs> an engineer, right? I work on the railroad, but I'm gonna blow up the very bridge that my profession is based upon. Come on. Nice looking bridge, though. It's nice, nice little area here. It, you know this. This game could have something on its hands. Like, obviously, I, I don't think you're supposed to take it as a complete simulation, but in a lot of aspects, it, it's got more simulation than more train sims that claim to be sims have. So, you know, there's other things to fill your time in this as well. Um, a very large river. Is there a way you can like get rid of the the HUD and everything? Uh, let's see settings, because there's a lot of stuff on screen. Uh, I can play. No, that's not it. Keyboard and mouse. Let's see. WASD spacebar. Run. Crouch. Sit down. Interact. Uh, use reload inspection mode 
Da -da 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 -da. It's all locomotive stuff, basically. Yeah, I guess not. Alright, let's go. We are coming, Nikita! We have 39 minutes to deliver a rail car. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could somehow get rid of some of the uh, the little tasks on screen. Um, you know, because it does get a bit cluttered. It's literally like my summer car, for those of you that know what that is, in a train in Siberia. It's basically what this is, kind of. But who knows if, you know, the full game, not only when it's going to release or come out, but you know, what it's going to entail when you start off. Um, cause, cause for what they plan, if they do plan a, uh, a, the very long distance that I was mentioning earlier, that's, I mean, that you're, that's like a, a half a day trip on a train, probably more in real life. So, and it says it's going to be a one-to-one -one scale with that. So who knows? Who knows? All right, let's make sure not to run over Nikita. I wonder if Nikita's last name is Mazaspin. The famous one season horrible F1 driver whose daddy got him into Formula One and had absolutely zero talent. Is it that Nikita? Boy, that's a sharp curve there. Jesus. Yeah, the the tracks, you know, I'm sure they did it like this to, to try and make it more interesting uh, and whatnot, but the, the tracks could definitely afford to be smoothed out a bit, honestly. All right, where is Nikita? Alright, we got about a mile and a half to where we're taking these containers. Oh, we gotta stop. He's right there. Uh. I'm coming, Nikita! Wait! Let me exit moving train. Hopefully it will stop. Nikita, I am here. Give me bomb. So it says he's worked as a pirate technician, creator of magic in the air, blasts of color and patterns are like my brushes, painting beautiful pictures in the sky. That's great, bro. Alright, we got the package. I'm getting out of here. I must always act with professionalism and attention to safety. Sir, wait, are these... Fireworks? Place an explosive on the bridge. Just be careful not to blow up your train in the process. You have 15 minutes to do this. What? What? The one we just came across? Oh my god, bro. So I gotta run 340 meters backwards and just leave my train on the main line. Okay. I'm up to the challenge. The train isn't that long, so let's hope that it's not on um, the bridge. Oh, that's a long way. I need a, I need like a, a one of those off-road one wheels or a razor scooter or some friggin' snow skis, something. Oh, we have very little time to blow bridge. So, like, once we do this, we're just kind of stuck over here. Isn't isn't the boss at the railroad gonna be like, hey, uh, you know, thanks for thanks for taking those coal guns to where they went, but uh, why did you blow the bridge up, you dingus? Uh. Package. Package to Boris. What the frick? Why is it not? What? 
How do you... Uh... I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. We got the box. Now what? It says put in inventory. What if we open it with a chainsaw? Yeah, that's not gonna work. Open it with a wrench. What the frick? Um. Okay. Oh, there it is. Explosive charge. So wait a second. So what? What the? What's the box? All right, here we go. Oh my God! Thirty seconds. Jesus. Give us any time. Man, we're hungover. We're thirsty. I don't know how to get rid of the, the hangover. We got to get out of here before the kid Jabir sees us. And we go to Gulag. Although they can't send to Siberia because we are already in Siberia. So it couldn't be that bad, eh? Yeah! Five hundred dollars. Wow. That's that's pretty that's pretty low <laughs> for just destroying a massive bridge. The baggage inside is blueprints for making bombs. Give it to Boris. He is Nikita's trainee. He is waiting for you in the station building at Novobrisk Glavny. You have one hour and fifteen minutes to do this. Jesus. It's like, guys, I've, I've got this train that I've got to take somewhere. It's, that kind of takes precedent. It's not like where you can just park a car on the side of the road, you know? This is a train blocking the main line. Kind of a big deal. My alert is still going off. Ah, look at this unit. Look at this absolute unit of train. We will take picture. For glory of motherland. Alright, close the door. Go in here. Shut that shit up. My lord, dude. Alright. Papa squatters. Okay. Inhale, exhale. We just uh, did a... I don't know if I can see the T word on YouTube. A, we'll say, Blairistic act <laughs> on a bridge. Um, yeah, let's go. Uh, what are we doing? How's the signal looking? Green, so we're good. Well, it actually tells you up to 60. Okay, cool. So you hover over it and it tells you what it is. That's pretty nice. Hangover, what am I supposed to do, man? All right, we are moving very slowly. We will give another notch. There we go. All right, hangover. Uh, grapefruit, maybe? Yep, that just made it worse. <laughs> um, uh, sprouts? I have no clue what the hell that is. Yep, that did absolutely nothing. It looks like the only honest and true way that we can get rid of this hangover is to drink a beer. I thought there was vodka last time. And there we go. The hangover has gone down. Good deal. All right, let's get rid of that. More power. We're about to go underground here. All right, delivering railroad cars to Novosibirsk. Novo Glavny, 30 minutes left. Delivering package to Boris, one hour, 12 minutes. So does this actually last that long? I'm curious how this is going to work in the actual full release of the game. Like, if you're just going to be 
delivering, uh, you know, train cars, and you just you kind of come across these random jobs along the way. But this is a lot longer than I thought already. Um, you know, of course you can just kind of dick around if you'd like, but uh, with a demo, you you know, as soon as you hooked up to the train, it was over. That was it. So this seems to have uh, quite a bit more already. Although we are only about a mile away from our current destination. Um, give her some more juice. 15 kilometer. Are we going to get attacked by the Mafia, though? I mean, we just Texas Chainsaw massacred uh, Dingley and Dingle Doo back, you know, wherever the hell we started, so... I would imagine they're going to start catching up to us here. Oh, it's getting cold in the cab. Is it this door? Let's see if it goes up now. All right, 30 kilometers, 35 kilometers, some bitch speeding up now. Now the train, 40 kilometers. Got a holler back. Oh, slow down to 40. We gotta slow down. Why we gotta slow down? Why we have to slow down? The risk damaging locomotive. I don't get it. it. Says we can do 60. All right, we will slow down. Dangerous place. What? What does that mean? What is what's the thing flashing? What does that mean? Am I about to get attacked? What does that mean? End of the dangerous place. What? The f what does that mean? <laughs> the dangerous place. All right, so we we've got our yard up here where we're gonna uncouple. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> End of the dangerous place. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. I guess it still says end of the dangerous place. Me are confused. The frames are starting to tank quite a bit. So I had a pretty rock solid 60 FPS. They're down to 30 something now. But there is a lot going on. You got a lot more train cars, ton of AI going by. Um, you know, it could be stuff on the back end as far as like the mechanics of the game. All right, so is it going to take me where I need to go here or what? Because. I see a lot of shit on the screen and I have no clue. That's some new cars over there, some tankers. Very cool. Very cool. Stop the train before you pass the railroad switch. Okay. I wanted to look at the tankers, but I guess not. Alright, let's release that. Yeah, there's another train, man. It's busy through here. This thing is bucking like a Bronco. Yeah, it's these these icons. I feel like these icons could definitely use some work because you can't see anything really uh, when they're all over. So there's a shop. Where is uh Where is um Boris? Where where do we take the package to Boris at? I don't, I don't see Boris anywhere. Boris. And I want to know what the dangerous area is. 
the hell did that mean? Railroad switch. Okay. Is the KGB going to yank us out of our locomotive here and pull out our toenails with pliers? Is what I'm worried about. Oh, this thing does take a minute to break, so we'll go ahead and emergency brake. Ain't no biggie. I mean, it's only a biggie if you need to charge the the brakes up again quickly and we don't how are we doing hello he does not look very happy I do like the switch mechanics as well that's a nice little feature where is Boris must take package to Boris stop the train with all the railroad cars in the marked area all right Let's get back up, close the door, open that, close that, get back in a seat. Go ahead and charge them back up. Release the locomotive brake. Give her a couple new Chironis. Alright, so how's this going to work? So it's got a little colored section down on the ground. So it's sort of like Train Sim World in, in that regard where it's got the color that shows you where um you need to stop or let people out of the platform so on and so forth we are moving yeah so Novosibirsk Glavny this must be the main station and where we were at was Novosibirsk West um but this this is a lot more tanky on my system mind you I've got everything maxed out um, but it is a, you know, it is an indie developer, an indie uh, game, so it could definitely use uh, some optimization. I mean, what game couldn't nowadays? But, uh, you know, I've got pretty nominal specs. i got a 5800X CPU um, on an AIO. Uh, I've got a 4070 Ti, uh, 32 gig RAM. This is on an SSD, so, you know. Most modern AAA games I can run tippy-top, no problem. But, you know, simulator-type games are always a bit different. So you might fare better if you've got a, an NVIDIA CPU, honestly. But who knows if this is what it's going to be. Uh, what? The, if this is how it's going to be, you know, when the, when the actual game comes to release. That looks pretty nice over there. There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of buildings. Um, I don't know where we're gonna find Boris though, man. I'm worried about this damn package. I don't see anything about Boris. But we do have an hour to deliver the package, so I'm also kind of worried that if I park the train up here, like it's gonna end the prologue, you know what I mean? And then I can't give package to Boris. Boris be very unhappy. He say schnauzer powers, why you not bring me package? It contain very special vodka in sardine. Or wait, not sardines. What's What are those nasty things called? Little salty delicacies. But it's not be happy. It says there's a hanger up there. Why is there a hanger up there? All right, I reckon let's get all the way to the end of this little red area here. Go ahead and cut the power. We'll go to inspection mode. Let's see, is a majority of the train in the red negative? Yeah, so we need to go all the way to the end. Another freight coming in. Yeah, it's busy through here, man. This is actually kind of cool, honestly. Good day, my bro. 
Yeah, this is actually kind of cool. What's annoying is it looks like it turns the headlights on the front and rear of the locomotive, which isn't uh, awesome. Yeah, you know, neat, neat little title. Neat little title here. Could definitely use some optimization because if this is like a big area and it's it's bogging down pretty much, um, you know. But it's it's very interactive. There's a lot you got to do. You know, I mean, hell, with a lot of straight train sims, you just put some throttle on release the brakes and you just sit there twiddling your thumbs till the next stop or whatever you know this, this has got some stuff in between at least it's a little a little cheeky it's got a little cheek on it you know but all right i believe we can stop now let's check one more again oh yes we can stop we can stop we will use locomotive brake because I'd rather do that because it's easier to come off it. Go outside and uncouple the railroad cars with the coupler level. Level? Lever. Oh, yes. Much glorious. Pull the pin. Yo. So we got 500 bucks for doing a legal thing. And we also got 500 bucks for doing an illegal thing. Sure, one of them might have been more fun. But, uh... You know. It's also illegal. Oh, that is Boris. You must give package to Boris. Let's go ahead and put package uh, in place of range. Don't need that. We will go find Boris and try not to get unalived by train in the meantime. That is a very big station. There probably much KGB inside. Get out the way, stupid train. Oh, it's another train, son of a bitch. Yeah, this place is busy, man. I like. Me likey. A nice little station. I'm coming, Boris. Is this going to be a setup, guys? We're going to give Boris his package, and then the KGB is going to come in and pry our toenails off. Because that would suck. Oh, Boris! I have package for you. Oh, onion on the ground. Oh, thank you. I will take. Boris! Many drunk in here. Many drunk people. Oh, yes, Boris. Look around. Make sure no cagey beer. Interesting stuff in the way to differ. Date in your pocket. It is how to make bomb. Yeah, you can have package. Я очень люблю изучать новые и пополнять свои знания. Я уверен, что эти материалы помогут мне улучшить результаты. Yes, they will help you make bombs. We got five hundred dollar, twenty one hundred bucks now. We made a ton of money. Thank you for playing. So that's it again. So it's like you do a couple of the things. You know, and it pretty much stops you. I should have messed around a bit more, uh, but that is the Trans-Siberian Railway Sim Prologue. So there's a lot more you can do. You can get a better feel of the game, test it out on your computer with your specs and all that, um, and just see how you like it. But uh, I am very much excited to see what else is going to happen with this game. I cannot wait to hit logs on the railway and derail and then have to fight off wolves with a chainsaw like i saw in the trailer you know 20 years ago what it feels like now but so i'm looking forward to that anyway that's it for now I'll just play through the prologue guys hope you enjoyed the video and found it uh somewhat useful but that's it i'll see you next time take care guys